Did you know that your pantry can double as a medicine cabinet? Huh? Yeah, it's true. Look no further than your own kitchen to find the healing power of food. Now, you wrote the book, Food Can Fix It. What is the latest science between what you eat and how you feel? I, I gotta say, when you walk into a grocery store, you're walking into a pharmacy. That is how powerful those foods are. I've learned more about food and affecting our health since I started the show than all my years practicing medicine because we never taught it. So when you ignore food, and ignore what it can do for you. You fall prey to all kinds of ailments. In fact, one thing we don't talk about publicly enough is the fact that your bodily health that's driven by your food, your obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, those are the major risk factors for dying of COVID. The fact that this is medicine in your pantry is just amazing. I mean, what is it about these beans? And I know we're both big on the blue zones. Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. I love Dan Butner's work with those blue zones because they completely organize why it works, put numbers on it, but beans are inexpensive. They're beans, right? They're a great source of protein, they come in cans. But let's go through this, chickpeas have selenium in them, and there's a, there, your lipid panel, the way the fats are carried in your blood is impacted by that. Uh -huh. So it's something called triglycerides, uh -huh. which is one of the blood tests you'll get back, is a classic thing that will improve if you're eating chickpeas. Uh -huh. But selenium Oh, is, so the chickpeas will improve that? Yes, it improves your triglyceride levels. Lentils are interesting because they have folate in them. Mm. And folates have lots of B vitamins, it's, it's a B vitamin, hugely beneficial for the brain. A lot of our neurotransmitters that allow our brain to process the world around us, which by the way, de-stresses us. The more you can find answers to your problems, the less stressed you are. So you need folic acid to do that. Lentils are rich in those. And the black beans have lots of fiber in them, which is great, great. In fact, all these are for your blood sugar. And instead of sugar, cinnamon is a great hack because cinnamon will stabilize your blood sugar. And this is in your pantry. And your pantry doesn't cost anything, so in your tea or your coffee even, it, it gives it a sweet sort of exotic taste, but there's no sugar in it. So add cinnamon. It becomes one of your, your cooling herbs. Okay, and then also I am a big turmeric nut, and that is also in your pantry. Don't spill that on you. What are the benefits of turmeric? One of the best antioxidants, anti-inflammatory that you can get. But I'm gonna give you my best tip of all, since you're right in front of them. Ooh. See these, see these almonds you've got? Yeah, you, uh, yes. I'm gonna come back to your herbs in a second, but what I do with my almonds, first of all, everyone should soak their nuts. <laughs> men, men and women. So I'm sure they should. So you soak the nuts for a couple hours. The reason for that is they actually start to germinate. You're actually allowing the proteins in them to start to do what they're supposed to do. The enzymes come alive. These are baby trees. Now you take these and then you sprinkle cinnamon on top of them in the bag, right? Or you can, do, or the, or the turmeric, you can pick whatever you want but I like the cinnamon, put it in there, and then you sprinkle, shake it up, and now, one of the best secrets of all, is you can walk around, you're never, never hungry, because if you feel an urge to go forging through a vending machine, just take out your bag of soaked nuts, people might stare at you, it doesn't matter, and then off you go. Oh. Um, now, can you teach me why apple cider vinegar is so important, because I see like Jennifer Aniston, can't live without her apple cider vinegar. I'm like, if Jennifer Aniston does it, I wanna do it. So apple cider vinegar is, uh, has something called acetic acid in it. And it's very helpful in slowing down your body's uh, problems with sugar. So it'll actually help you digest the sugar effectively, reduce the amount of blood sugar that your blood system sees. At its very core, if you can make it part of a ritual that you have and just toss it down, it's, it also helps the Got the bacteria of the gut. So there's a reason it's become the number one most popular home remedy in America. I mean, cheers, I'll salute. Toast you. Salute. Ah. 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 Whoa. <laughs> um, all right, so how can you make a yummy meal from some of these ingredients? Find out next, but first, renowned breast surgeon and author of the book, Breasts, the Owner's Manual. Dr. Christy Funk is giving her advice on what you can do to promote good breast health, which is so important and not something to run away from. So um, take a look at this. I'm so excited to share my top breast health tips with you today. Number one, keep moving. Even briskly walking just 11 minutes a day cuts breast cancer by 18%. Put some pep in that step three to four hours a week and cancer drops up to 40%. Get to your ideal body weight and stay there forever. 
Overweight and obese women have more breast cancer occurrence, recurrence, and death. Prioritize eating fruits, veggies, whole grains, and legumes. Consuming more than 30 grams of fiber a day from foods like beans, berries, and broccoli cuts breast cancer risk in half. Minimize or eliminate alcohol. It's a carcinogen that increases breast cancer risk. However, if you choose to drink, have no more than one a day and favor red wine, which has some redemptive properties. And lastly, despite all the confusing information about mammograms we've all heard, they do find cancer and absolutely save lives. For average risk women, begin at age 40. I wish you and all of your viewers the breast of health.